Greg Boston. I'm the director of the Inmate Services Division. And I'm here today with uh, Mrs. Thomas from the Pathways to Hope. Um, she's a nonprofit organization. And, and well, before we talk about the graduation um, with these gentlemen behind me and the uh, dogs that we have from the Orange County Animal Shelter, um, I want to talk about the collaboration we have. And that is uh, the Sheriff's Department here um, and Inmate Services, which does all the programs and services within the jail facility, and um, our nonprofit, which is Pathways to Hope that I just mentioned, and the Orange County Animal Shelter. And the dogs, all the dogs that we use are from that animal shelter. Um, and what we're going to do today, before we do the graduation piece, I'm going to have uh, Mrs. Thomas come up and talk about the program a little bit more. Thank you, Greg. Sure. Good morning. Um, Pathways to Hope, we started these programs about 10 years ago, and, and the real objective is to, it's, it's threefold. One is to basically give a skill set to the inmates who participate in the program so that they'll learn empathy, uh, responsibility, um, patience, which many of them, you know, have uh, short tempers like we all do at times. Uh, coupling that with dogs from shelters who also have backgrounds that, you know, they're, they are there for a reason. Uh, they may not be potty trained, they may not be, uh, they have any basic obedience skills, and that's what these guys do for them. And the general public many times would like to adopt dogs from the shelter, but don't want to do so because they're not sure what they're going to get. It's almost like going to a garage sale and looking for a uh, diamond in the rough. So it's just terrific when we can pull those three entities together. Um, getting the dogs here with the guys in eight weeks, they've done a fabulous job. They've been able to teach the dogs all of their basic obedience skills in addition to potty and crate training them, uh, which, is, uh, which is amazing. Most people don't have the time and it's a full-time job for these guys here and I couldn't be happier with what they've been able to accomplish in such a short time and it gives us the ability to bring more and more dogs into this facility you know, soon after this group graduates today. So I think before we have the graduation ceremony, we'd like to show you some of the things that the dogs have learned and some of the things that the uh, participants in the program have learned. So I'm going to have Director uh, Thomas talk about some of the specifics of how the program works and some of the things they go over, and then we'll do a demonstration for you. What we do is we meet once a week. Uh, it's an eight-week program, and during that time, we come in and we learn all of the basic obedience commands. Uh, the guys do this, as I mentioned, as a full-time job. And uh, what I'd like to do is explain and let them show you what they've accomplished during this time. They'll, they'll demonstrate for you a few commands that the dogs have learned, as well as a few cute tricks. Uh, and the dogs are in teams. It's either two or three inmates per dog, and it helps to really solidify the training so the dog doesn't learn to do it just for one person, but for a group of people. So I'd like to turn the program over to uh, the inmates and their dogs, and I'll ask the teams to come up and introduce themselves and their dogs, and then do the commands and the tricks for you. So first I'm going to call Team Dusty. And, and they'll introduce themselves and their dog, and then they'll show you what they can do. This young man, is, his name is Dusty. He's a, he's a cockapoo. Uh, my name's Curtis. My name's Alan. Yes. Yes. Down. Down. Roll over. Roll over. And next we'll have team, are you guys, yeah, what a great yeah. job. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thank you very much. Now we have team Maddie. Maddie, come on. Let's go. Ready. Ready. Maddie, let's go. 
Uh, yeah, this is Team Maddie. Thanks, Tom. Oscar. Martha. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple things that Maddie does. Maddie. Maddie, look, Maddie. Okay. Maddie, come. Down. Yes. And now we have Team Peanut. Good morning, my name is Tom. This is Bobby. We're Team Peanut. Peanut's a one year old miniature poodle, and uh, Bobby's going to work through his tricks. Peanut. 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 Foul. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Peanut. Down. Down. Peanut down. Come on, bud. Peanut. Down. All the way. Yes. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Jump out. All the way. <laughs> he got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Go down. All the way, bud. No. no. <laughs> down. And a lot of these tricks are difficult for them with the leash on. They're usually um, off leash for roll over. Get up. Sit. Sit. Shake. Yes. Good oh boy. Thank you. Great job, Paul. Thank you. What most people don't realize is the dogs really didn't know anything when they got here. And it's so difficult. You know, we're nervous being on camera, so can you imagine what the animals are like and having all the attention on them? But um, I want to thank you guys. You've done, I couldn't be prouder of what you've accomplished. You know, uh, I've had so much fun working with you. Um, you just take my breath away. It, it just is great. And the great part is that these dogs have loving homes. I just have one request. We're still looking for a home for Peanut. Uh, he's awesome. It's just that I think what happens sometimes is people don't realize how adorable poodles are, but they don't. Uh, there's a lot of work and time that takes to take care of them as far as their coat goes. But um, Dusty's going into advanced training. When you saw the guys ask him to do nudge, that's a command that we teach service dogs, and we're going to try to train him to be a service dog for children with autism. One of the nicest part of my job is to say thank you, and in doing so, um, these guys do such a heck of a job. What I like to do is give them not only a, a certificate, was it a certificate of appreciation, but also a picture of them and their dog, uh, which is something that they really covet, as well as, and this is obviously for Dusty. So, uh, I'd like to call uh, Team Dusty up at this point. So, uh, Curtis and Alan. Thank you. Come here. Leave it. Thank you so much for doing a great job. Thank you very much. It's terrific. Thank you. I'm hearing your pictures. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Shake that. Shake that. Shake that. Shake that. Shake Where's the food? Where's the food? Yeah, you're looking for food, huh? Shake Yeah. Hold your thing. You see Okay, and Alan, thank you so much. Here's your picture. <laughs> you did a great job. I know this is a tough day, but you've yeah. got, you got to know that he's going on to do wonderful things for great people. So oh, yeah. thank you so much for everything. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. That's right. Alan. Here we go. We really love you, buddy. Really love you. Come here, guys. Leave it. Me too. Oh, it's a toy. Oh, Jack and toy. You're gonna catch a case. <laughs> Next, I'd like to um, recognize Team Maddie, Tom, Oscar, and uh, Arthur. So, um, here's a picture of you and your girl. <laughs> Maddie. She's in pictures now. Yes, she is. Congratulations on a great job. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Right on. Mm -hmm. Maddie, can you do it? Congratulations. Yes, sir. What do you think? I like it. You like it? Oh, good. Me too. So, thank you so much for doing a great job. I really appreciate it.
And Arthur, you're welcome. What do you think? Yeah? <laughs> Thanks for doing a great job. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations. Thank you guys. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. And our team Peanut, Bobby and TJ, these guys are so photogenic, it's unbelievable. Thank you. Look at them. Oh, models. The dog is okay. Yeah, no, you are. Look at that. Look how nice. Thank you. Great job. Oh, you're very welcome. My pleasure. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. If this doesn't get this little guy adopted, nothing uh, will. <laughs> you like it? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna miss yeah. It. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for the program. It's been wonderful for us. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Woo, peanuts! <laughs> Why are there dogs here? I thought I was seeing something, and uh, you know they explained the program to me, and I, I put a, a request in right away um, to be a part of it because I'm a huge animal lover. So uh, definitely has made my time uh, much better. Less stressful. Less stressful. Much less Absolutely. stressful. Absolutely. You know this is a bit. The whole tank. The, all the people in the tank. They all love the dogs. They all. They all. Uh, it's just a calming sense, you know. It, it's just. It's wonderful. I mean, I, I don't know what I'd do without it, you know? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's great. And it brings us together be here as for team. a while. Yeah. We're, I mean, a, we're all a huge team. We work together every day, and it's, uh, you know, it's. it's we real. learn as much as the dogs do. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, thought I knew a thing or two. I've had dogs my whole life, and, and I didn't know a thing. Yeah. <laughs> There's a list of things not to do. I think I've done every <laughs> single one of them. And now, you know, going out of here, having pets, you know, we, we have great tools to, to be better pet owners. That's my story. Been amazing. Are you a little sad? Oh, yeah. yeah. These yeah, guys have been with awesome. us for just over eight weeks, and yeah. we, you work with them all day, every day. You love them like they're yeah. your pet. But Absolutely. Um, at the same time, they're going to bring joy to another family, and uh, and hopefully we can save another set of dogs. That's the main goal here, Absolutely. is to uh, prevent dogs from being euthanized. So, mm -hmm. um, as sad as we are, we're happy to do it all over again. Describe to me a little bit of uh, what it looked like. Obviously, you had bunk beds, and did you have like you know like a doggy bed next we, to well, you? Well, we have a, their kennel um, right next to the bunk beds. So um, each team has the dog next to their bunk, and uh, they're they're basically our bunk mates. Yeah, um, and we'll tie them to our bunk, um, yeah. and they'll play around with each other throughout the tent and the people throughout it because we try to acclimate them to everybody around us. You know, and there's 90 other people with us, so mm -hmm. you know. And luckily, our, need to, our barrack is fenced, yeah. specifically, so, so they we have, have our like own, own yard, dog, dog yeah. yard, so yeah. they can run around yeah. and play. Yeah. And that's their favorite thing. We're outside most of the time with the dogs, you know, and we have people coming in from out, outside the tent and uh, helping with the dogs, helping the training, and and uh, just getting the dogs acclimated to actually the, the different commands that they that they uh, they learn, and they get used to people and all that good stuff. This is the second dog I've trained, so I've been in the program since it started yeah. back in February. So it's, it's been great because those dogs, is, you know, it makes a whole difference in the tent. You know, everybody's like, especially this dog we have here, Maddie, everybody wants to be the mascot. She's like such a lovely dog. Everybody's, either we let her roam around. and it's just, it's just awesome. I mean, it makes us more relaxed. It makes the whole, everybody more relaxed. Man. It's, it makes time much easier. I thought it was great. It's just, uh, it's, uh, pr we get, it's like a project that we get. Instead of just uh, sitting around, you know, wasting time, making the best of the time that we're doing here. With the dogs, we have a project, we set a goal, and we achieved it. And everybody worked together, all of us as a team with the dogs. It just, the dog, having the dogs around changed everything in the tent. Not just for us, but for all the uh, other inmates too. It just it puts a smile on everybody's face. It changes that, the whole aspect of jail. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what is this program meant to you? What, what are you taking away from this program? I'm taking, I mean, I learned a lot of things about dogs. Like uh, the other guy said, I had my own dog and I did everything wrong. I thought I was doing everything right. But now, I mean, I can get out of here and teach my own dog, you know, a few things or two. 
I mean, just skills that I mean I didn't have before. I'm le at least I want to leave out of here with something extra than you know than when I came in. Yeah, basically the same thing he said. You know, I learned a lot. I love dogs. When I told my daughter that I was doing this, she's like, "Oh, dad, that's great. Cause you said you love dogs so much. You know, that's great for you." And then you know, there's potential when we get out of here. You know, Jeanette's already talked to us. And me, I'd be getting out about. Couple more months, you know, maybe working, doing some volunteer work with her, and going on further educating myself on this, and be able to be dog training like her. Oh, okay. And how do you feel about uh, them obviously getting a second chance? I think it's great. I mean, this dog. I mean, I can't believe no, why would nobody would want these dogs. These dogs, you know, around are just they're, they're great to be around. They just put it like I said, they put a smile on their face. To see these dogs be put to sleep has been horrible. You know, it's awesome. I'm Curtis. I'm Alan. And Team Dusty. I'm down there with Dusty. Hey, everybody. <laughs> okay, so tell us a little bit about what this program meant to you. Uh, for me, it was it was an educational experience uh, that took me way farther than I expected as far as the learning the vocabulary and the different ways to train the dogs. I've had dogs on myself. Yeah. I've known some of his dogs on the street, and it's definitely been an experience, a very upbeat and positive experience. Yeah, it's, and it's all about po being positive in here, staying positive, uh, everything on an upward. Because if, if you're not positive in here, it'll just get you. It'll get you down. So, and um, the dogs are just great, tremendous. That's where you focus. Everything is you focus is on the dogs. You can forget about all of this and just wrap yourself up in the dogs. And it's that's what it's all about. So. Yeah, it's a very it's a very positive in a, in a very negative place. I saw you getting a little choked up. Yeah, I'm bad at that. What was yeah. that? that? I'm just getting a little choked up. I, 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 I hate to see the dog leave, you know what I mean? I got I got kind of attached to the dog. Really um, attached? Yeah, maybe a little too attached, but that's okay. I, I get attached to all my dogs. I got a dog at home waiting for me. So, But it's all good and as long as uh, they're going to a bigger, better place. And, uh, the, you know, the whole the whole uh, program is just spectacular. Done a, we've got carte blanche here. So as long as we're a dog trainer, we got carte blanche. So it's so it's, it's a good program. And it's amazing. It's amazing the calming effect that the dogs in the in the in our dorm environment, the effect they have throughout the whole house. Everybody's it's, there's less tension between inmates. Helen and Jeanette have been great uh, instructors. It's just the experience is rocking. If there's one thing that you learned that you didn't know before, what would that be? Um, I guess. Uh, uh, it, it, raising a dog is like raising a child. Yeah, raising a dog is just like raising a child. I just got done taking a parenting class, and it, they're very co uh, very similar. Yeah, in, in here we got the dog. It's you got to watch the dog 24/7, and it's like at home you can just put it away or put it in the backyard or do it. Here you got to watch it 24/7, and it's it it became a a lot of work to be honest with you. It, it was a lot of work. Explain to me like what a typical day would look like. Obviously, you, you know you would you would uh, you get up in the morning and he's right there. And, and he's <laughs> oh, and he's right there and he's looking at you. And and that was yeah, take me out and play with me. Play feed with me, me, feed me. Waiting to play with the other dogs. Yeah, wanting to play with the other dogs. Uh, just I, you know, it's a typical day. Of, you're my dad and you need to be there and let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. And yeah. It's, and then fighting, uh, um, you know, just the people that he doesn't like, and so it's it's amazing the effect uh, having one one of these uh, beautiful dogs wake you up in the morning rather than you know a burly deputy. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a much more uh, nicer experience. If there's one thing that you will miss the most, what what would that be? Um, just the. His personality, yeah, his, his unconditional love. Yeah, the dog. This, we, we got the best dog. He's moving on to the service, you know, service industry, and uh, yeah, he's yeah. We got I got a lot of love for this dog. He's he's real calm, just kind of laid back. Laid back, does his own thing. Wait, you know, waits for us to do everything. Waits for us to do. We go to Chow, come back. There he is, sitting there waiting for us. It, you know, yeah. I'll leave the yard to go do my other job and come back, and he'll, he'll be at the fence waiting for me. He'll be sitting, sitting at the gate waiting for us to come back. It's, yeah. He follows us anytime we walk out because our yard's separated from the rest of the yard. He'll sit there and he'll track us no matter where we're at. I'll walk all the just, way over to the phone. Sit and watch us. He'll sit there and track us the whole way. Yeah. What would you tell the people that uh, are offering this program or making this program possible? Um, keep them coming. Yeah. Keep them coming. Thank because you. Because if they could keep more dogs, get more dogs. 
there's four tents. We have four tents, and our tent has got to be the just the calmest. It, everybody respects the dogs. Everybody wants to pet the dogs. Everybody doesn't want to screw up the, you dogs, know, program. the dogs program. So it, I think it'd be it'd be really good if you know if they continue on with it. Um, there's a few there's a few haters, but I think they'll get over it as time goes on. You know, they don't like to see us have the little bit of the freedom that we have because of the dogs. So but they'll get used to it. You know, so it's and good. it actually brings out the the human side for some of the staff that we're because us being on inmates and stuff, we tend to have a little attitude or negative side towards them. But then watching them interact with the dogs, when you think they're going to be a little hard. And then you see the person come out of him, it makes a difference. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that hard that, that hard deputy all of a sudden just he's just a big softy. So it's kinda it's good. It's good.